welcome to another episode of Positive Parenting with Astrology. I am your host and resident Gemini, Maria Rieger, and today we're talking about the three best traits of the Aries parent. If you've watched my channel regularly, you will know that Aries parents are some of my favorite parents. They are great at advocating for their kids. So we're going to talk today about the three top traits of the Aries parent. First, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for your free, regular, positive parenting with astrology content. If you have made a request for a particular video, including a particular zodiac sign combination, a relationship combination, I am getting to all of your requests in the order in which I receive them, so stay tuned. If you have a request for a specific video you have not let me know about yet, please leave your request in the comments below. Thank you. First, I'm going to give a general high-level overview of Aries energy. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It is all about the self, asserting the self on the stage of life. It is a fire sign and it is a cardinal sign. So fire obviously means it's a masculine energy sign. Being a masculine energy sign, it is extremely action-oriented, even more so because of the cardinal nature of the sign. So Aries is ruled by the planet Mars. So remember that in Roman mythology, Mars was the god of war. That right there tells you a lot about the Aries personal personality. They are not, Aries people are not necessarily belligerent or warlike or aggressive, although many of the men uh, can be. Uh, it is about asserting themselves intensely on the stage of life and self-advocating intensely. It is all about their needs, right? Asserting their needs. It is an ego-oriented sign. All the fire signs are. That means that they are very concerned with their own needs and advocating for themselves. Sometimes it is more challenging for the Aries person to see the other person's point of view, to put themselves in the shoes of the other person. It is not impossible, it is just more challenging. Water sign people are naturally empathic. They are naturally able to like put themselves in the shoes of the other person most of the time. Libra people are very relationship oriented, very concerned with the wants and needs of the other person in the relationship. But Aries, remember, is the opposite of Libra, okay? So Aries is more concerned about the self. This is not necessarily a bad thing, especially when I talk to a lot of moms who have trouble self-advocating, trouble self-championing, trouble sticking up for themselves and trouble sticking up for their kids because um, so many of us, including myself, were raised to be people pleasers. We're raised in a way that you know suggested that women are not supposed to rock the boat, women are supposed to appease, women are supposed to be nice and kind and all these things and not be aggressive and not be assertive. So a lot of us moms are dealing with kind of the conditioning that that, that has created and the people pleasing and all that stuff. So. It is not a bad thing to advocate for your own needs above the needs of the other person. Not a bad thing at all, okay? So, but I want to point that out, that Aries energy is very much about advocating for the self. So another um, attribute of the fire signs, especially Aries, cardinal sign, and Sagittarius, a mutable sign, is that they have, their energy has an intensity, the energy has a tendency to burn uncontrollably if it is not channeled or directed in some way, hopefully some productive way. Aries people, especially Aries kids, especially Aries boys, really benefit from a lot of physical activity, physical exertion to burn off that energy. So if you're an Aries parent who has that issue, you can check out some of my videos about Aries en energy in general um, to kind of learn the ways that you can direct and channel that energy so that it doesn't get out of control. Aries people tend to have an intense focus. It is also a very social extroverted energy. You can, and I always say this, you can have an Aries person who tests like on the MBTI as an introvert. It happens. You have to look at the whole chart. No one sign, no one particular placement is gonna indicate whether the person is an introvert or an extrovert. But generally, Aries energy tends to be very social, tends to be very extroverted. And as I've said in other videos, Fire is an element that cannot exist on its own. It needs air, right? It needs another element to exist. So that really informs kind of that social extroverted nature of Aries. 
And one thing I've noticed about most fire sign people is that they tend to have an entourage about them. They tend to like move in a group. They tend to be more comfortable in the group. Although Aries has no problem advocating for themselves and being individualistic, in general, they tend to have a lot of people around them because they just, they have the need to be social. Okay, so the first of the top three traits of the Aries parent is, you've guessed it, it's no surprise if you've uh, listened to my other videos about Aries energy. Aries people are fierce self-advocates. And in turn, when they have kids, they are fierce advocates for their kids. This is a wonderful trait to have. I wish I saw this more often. That My big complaint is that people kind of kowtow to authority too much. Obviously, the other end of that spectrum is you have absolutely no respect for authority of any kind. I'm not necessarily advocating that, although that's the end to which I uh, kind of lean. Um, I think you should always question authority, but Aries people are not afraid to offend others and uh, even authority figures, and they're not afraid to make others uncomfortable if it's about defending themselves and their kids. And I wish I saw that trait more often, okay? I wish I saw it more often that parents chose their kids or believed their kids over like the teachers and other things. That obviously is he very heavily fact and context dependent, but it's kind of the basis from which I operate, right? But the point here is that Aries people are very good at sticking up for themselves and usually very good at sticking up for their kids. Aries uh, is a great leader, no surprise, first uh, house of the zodiac, or first sign of the zodiac associated with the first house of the zodiac. They are natural leaders. That is a great trait to model for children, this leading instead of following, making decisions, right? Instead of having others making decisions for you and delegating your own autonomy to other people. Aries is also very action oriented. Again, a great trait to model for your kids, right? Now, on the flip side of that, sometimes Aries can be a little too action-oriented. They're quick to solve problems. They're quick to take action on issues. But sometimes when we're parenting, we need to slow down and learn to validate and nurture and comfort the children before we jump to action and jump to the problem-solving phase. Just something to be aware of. But in general, that action-oriented nature for Aries people, I find to be very positive, a positive role model for kids. The second best trait, in my opinion, of the Aries parent is this drive. They have an intense drive and motivation. They can be very focused and they are very self-motivated to get things done. That cardinal energy is really evident in Aries people, right? That cardinal energy motivates them to keep moving forward, maintain the forward momentum, get things done, achieve things, accomplish things. Again, great role model for kids, right? Because one of the major things, complaints I hear about people from, from parents about themselves and about the kids is procrastination. They procrastinate. They get, you know, too distracted with this and this. Well, Aries people generally are very good at being self-motivated, are very good at being focused, are very good at just getting things done. And they're very impatient too, but that can also, you know, help with the focus and help with getting things done. They're impatient, so they want to get things done and accomplish things. There is no moss growing under the feet of an Aries parent, right? This again is a great role model and example for kids. This example of taking action instead of overthinking, getting stuck in that endless thought loop, procrastinating and wishful thinking. You have to work to get to the good stuff, right? And reach your goals. And the last of the three best traits of the Aries parent is Aries enthusiasm for life. Aries people love to just assert themselves on the stage of life. They love to take advantage of everything that life has to offer, has to offer all the opportunities. Again, another great example to set for kids. Aries also can be a little bit childlike. Those first few signs of the Zodiac, like first through fifth sign, so like Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. Cancer, not so much, because Cancer can be an old soul, but the others, those other four signs, the first of the Zodiac, tend to be a little more childlike. Um, ask me how I know as a Gemini, right? So Aries' uh, enthusiasm for life can be like, like almost like a child's enthusiasm, can be very infectious. Again, another great example for kids to go out there and experience everything life has to offer and all these opportunities and uh, learn all about life so that they can decide for themselves what they like, what they don't like, and you know what opportunities they want to pursue. 
And Ares also displays this trait by having a lot of fun with kids, playing games, doing physical activities and physical exercise with the kids, and generally having a good time with kids. Ares is very good at doing all that. Well, these are the parents like really cheering for their kids at the side of the games, not telling the kids what to do. That's a little too far, but just being there, their presence, um, being present, supporting the kids, cheering for the kids when it's appropriate. You know, those are the parents that are most have the biggest tendency to do that. And that general optimism and enthusiasm for life is another great example for their kids, especially when you start to have moody, moodier adolescents and teens who are kind of in a funk sometimes or kind of in their own heads. That enthusiasm for life, that general optimism about life is really, really good, really, really good model for kids, especially when they're in that state, right? That hormonal state and they tend to be more negative. So all in all, these are the, these are the top three traits of the Aries parent, in my opinion. If you're an Aries parent and if you agree or you disagree, please leave a comment below. And also, if you have a request about uh, another parenting video, if you want to see the um, best or worst traits of a different uh, zodiac sign as regards to parents, please leave that comment too uh, below and I will get to it. Thank you for listening and I'll be back soon.